Hello everybody and welcome back to JT Plays here on YouTube. Today we are back in Minecraft. We're not doing an update on the Clemson Memorial Stadium, but instead we're touching back to an old friend, Redfield City. It's been quite some time since we've entered this world. And if we pull up the map here, guys, we have done little to nothing because our goal is to cover this entire map. However, we are almost done with the residential area. And today, we're working on this two-story house. So, today, the goal is furnish a Redfield home. Redfield home, sorry. And maybe you guys, if you're crazy builders or really in-depth like I am, and architectural uh, scale and all that, maybe you can get some ideas. But, let's go around the outside of the property. You have your mailbox, you have a little flower bed right here. You have one tree in the front yard, you have two trees in the backyard, just like every other home. Two story obviously is gonna differ, differ from one story. So guys, welcome to the two story. Basically, you, bought it, you just bought this home, now you have to furnish it. We have the living room immediately to your right. We have the kitchen in the back right with windows. We have the sliding glass door. We have the bathroom in here. We'll furnish that. Then we had upstairs. Nice acacia wood upstairs. And then we basically have all the bedrooms. We have three bedrooms, one guest, one main bedroom, and then just really a whatever room. But we are going to furnish it as a bedroom. So three bedrooms and uh, right here just these two little cutouts well they're just what they are cutouts and they're gonna serve as well this one will be a bedroom the other one probably a reading area so without further ado let's just do upstairs first and it is a reading area so guess what just fill it to the line with books and maybe a little chair so uh, let's do let's do a spruce chair, you know, just a little bench right here, and then we will add the lighting as followed. We'll do the lighting last on every area in the house because, well, lighting is one of the last things to go into a house. Actually, it might be the first. I'm not too sure on that, but guys, there you go. And you know what? We're going to throw down a rug just because we can so there we go there's our little reading area and uh now we will work on the first hallway well i guess the only hallway in the house and just like the reading area we're gonna add some books but this time we're gonna do things a little bit differently this time we are going to add some shelving let's do a nice court shelf and that's it. That's all we're going to leave it as. This side, let's go ahead and get some stone brick shelving done. And instead of leaving nothing on it, let's go ahead and put some nice flowers there. Because, well, who doesn't love flowers? So guys, here's our hallway. Let's add a rug. Why not, right? Let's just add another rug. And basically, we're almost done with the top of the uh upstairs really long rug probably shouldn't be that long you know what we'll do that how long four and four we'll just have two green rugs it's not gonna hurt anything there we go you don't really need lighting up here because maybe except for here because you have so many windows so we're not gonna add lighting and now it's time to move on to the first bedroom so this one is going to be a nice simple one. You're going to have the two beds here. You're going to have the bookcase with the TV. And uh, that's it may be a desk in each room. And basically that's it. Because really there's nothing too, too advanced going on here. And we don't want to make it crazy advanced. So we'll just do this. Here's your TV. And let's get a swiftness potion. Let's keep the quickness in a hurry. And let's see, add a topper to it. Let's go ahead. 
Let's do red sandstone. Doesn't look too bad. Again, window here, big enough. You really don't need anything. Um, we'll probably add, let's just add a light fixture right here because of the desk and all that. Well, you could probably see it during the day or midday, I guess. You're not really going to see it here. And uh, plus, for YouTube purposes, it's going to look kind of bad. Also, we can get decorative in shrubbery. So let's go ahead and add some plants here. One here. Actually, let's just add one plant. And that can go in the corner like so. For a laptop, basically what I do, stone pressure plate. And then an item frame. And then I grab a random item. Typically, I will grab a tree. And there you go. There's your laptop. And let's have a purple chair because, well, let's utilize the new blocks. The, pu the purple blocks. I don't know what they're from, but let's just focus on it. And there we go, guys. We have ourselves a bedroom. Let's go ahead and add a rug. Orange one will do just fine. And there we go. Our first bedroom done just like that. Doesn't take any time at all. Our second bedroom, this will be more of a bigger bedroom. Probably the master bedroom of the house. And uh, if... Anyone has a kid or something, that can be their room. Get all the bedrooms upstairs. That's what we're getting at here. So, same thing. We're going to grab ourselves some gray wool, a bookshelf, and a topper for this one. Let's go dark oak slab just because why not? Uh, really, we can do anything we want. And guess what? That is going to be that. So, there's your TV. There's your bed. Uh, let's have, let's just throw some bookcases in here. Why not, right? You can fill this room any way you want, but we're going to fill this with a nice shelving area. And let's see. All right, there we go. Close the window. Let's see. What do we want to add here? Uh, cobblestone stairs. Yeah, that'll make, that'll make some weird, just a little table. All right, so there we go and uh what color carpet let's do blue and magenta probably not the greatest color combination but guess what it works and we have no complaints there so kind of an area rug right there let's go ahead and add the lighting fixture and the lights in here well let's just have them go from the middle of the carpet right there match up and boom there's your whole room lighted up we're trying to save space here and that's exactly what we're doing so third and final bedroom let's just keep this door open the bed is gonna go in this corner because well i like beds in the corner i don't know why but why not right you don't need this many beds you know it, it it's whatever though you have six beds sure why not i mean it's not really gonna hurt anything and you know what, we can actually extend this window out one more so it just fills the room even more. And then grab ourselves the bookcases, the gray wool, and for this we are going to add a black carpet top. Just because, actually, no, we're going we're gonna to add a light gray. Well, it's, it says light gray, but it's like white, so yeah, we'll just, we'll do that. For this room, we'll do sandstone stairs. We'll do nice shelving right here across the uh, plain wall. And then for the wall with the window, let's go ahead and grab some flower pots. Let's grab dandelion poppy, place it down, boom, boom. Uh, nope. There we go. Two different colors. And da -da 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 -da. let's do a cyan carpet. Let's just do one cyan carpet. Should take up most of the room, and it does. And same thing here, we'll go middle in from the carpet for the ceiling, and there's your room. So, room three done. Now it's on to downstairs where we get a lot more details. So, first things first, we'll start in the kitchen, then we'll do the bathroom. Then we'll do the main hallway. Well, I, the main area of the house. 
and then the uh, living room. So first things first, let's go ahead, let's build ourselves a fridge. We'll get a dispenser, not a dropper. Then we'll get a block of quartz. We will get an iron door because that's basically the door that looks like most like a fridge. And then all we do, dispenser, block of quartz, a stone button on the side, and there we go. We have ourselves a working fridge. We have a nice giant two windows here, two giant windows I should say, and they'll give the room some light. You know what, let's just add another one. No harm in the more sunlight we get, plus it saves on lighting bills if you're really that realistic into this. For this kitchen though, we're going to do something a little bit different. We are going to go ahead and grab ourselves a acacia clink. And that's because we're going to build an acacia table. So, where we, where are we going to put this? Well, we like to put it square in the middle. And then let's just throw in... Just do cobblestone stairs. Why not? Might not be the comfiest thing, but it does take up the room quite nice. Cutting boards. I use the golden... Well, the weighted pressure plate light. But I call them golden and... There you go, there's your cutting boards. It doesn't really get any much simpler than that for a sink. We grab a water bucket, a cauldron, and a tripwire hook. We're utilizing redstone mechanics here. And we need somewhere to put this. Right here is fine. We'll do that, that, and there we go. There's our sink. And then we will add one little light above the dining room table or the kitchen table. And there we go. So the whole kitchen is lighted up. I don't believe we're missing anything. Actually, we are. We're missing stoves. So furnaces, boom, boom. This time we grab stone pressure plates for the top of the furnaces. Crouch so we can put it down. There we go. There's our stove top. So now let's move into the bathroom. This is going to be probably very hard to see on YouTube for videos. So I'm sorry about that. But we'll get it brightened up in just a second. So what we do... Let's grab quartz slabs. Let's grab pink wool. We can have a pink shower curtain. It really doesn't bother us at all. And all we're going to do here is going is uh, grab a triple wire hook for a little shower head. All we're going to do, three high on the pink wool. This is our shower curtain. And then we'll add a light inside the shower. But before that, let's add some light inside the shower because... Personally, my shower does have a light on the inside of it and the bathroom light, so you get to see while you're in the shower. That's not too bad. I think that's a pretty good idea. Right here, the, all we're going to do for the lighting is just go really across the top of the whole bathroom, and let's get a little decorative with it. Let's just go ahead and leave a space in the middle because that would be way too much light. Now it's time for the fun part, the toilet. We're going to grab a quartz slab. We are going to go over to redstone. We're going to get a hopper. We're going to get a light gray or a white, it doesn't matter, carpet for the toilet cover. All we're going to do, really, no way of making this look really good except a little awkward. Boom, boom. Grab an item frame. Grab some white wool for toilet paper. And there's your toilet. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but it does the job indeed. So, you know, bathroom, there you go, shower, all this good stuff. Only thing we're missing here is the uh, stand, the sink stand, and the mirror, and all that good stuff. So, all we're going to do here is three. We're going to grab ourselves some cyan stained clay, three wide, two high, and then... We will add a yellow carpet because it is just boring coming in here to look at a plain concrete tile slash bathroom. And the only way of making it look good, let's add a carpet. So there we go. So now we have everything done. Just left the living room and the main area. So let's do this as fast as possible. We'll grab our giant TV. This is where the fun stuff comes in, guys. It's just a giant TV because if you have people over, you're going to want them to be entertained. So, not a flat screen TV, but uh, a pretty big TV at that. 
And then inside the living room, we're going to grab ourselves some jungle wood and cyan stained glass. We're going to make a fish tank and we're going to put black carpet on the top to seal it off. And then we'll throw some lighting over the fish tank because light does need fish even though it has a window. And the topper for the TV, let's go ahead and throw down a birch. So there's our TV, there's all that good stuff. For the sofa, let's go ahead and do a red sandstone uh, sofa as wide as the bookshelf and the TV. And then for a coffee table or a glass table, all we're going to do is get plain glass. This is in the city texture pack. Throw on some light gray carpet and boom, we have ourselves a nice coffee table, uh, sofa, and just all that good stuff. And then with the light fixtures go on top of the table, three across just like the table is, and then boom, there we go. The only thing we're missing now are little decorative pieces, so let's grab another bookshelf. They're very popular in this world. Let's grab a flower pot, and let's go ahead and get some trees. Let's do four different types of trees. I think they're all different. We'll find out in one second. And yes, they are very slightly but they are and then let's go ahead grab some carpet so colors we haven't done let's do let's do a brown and gray probably not the greatest color combination but again it really doesn't matter it's about what the house looks like and then for some added effect let's go ahead and grab a oak wood base with some oak leaves and let's uh, throw a, sh well, not a shrubbery, well I guess it is shrubbery, but a, uh, a plant, planter, whatever you want to call it, in a couple places, this we the place up a bit, and I don't know how this is going to look here, I don't like that. Alright, so that's the living room done, so now let's add the light fixtures, again, very quick process here. Uh, it's all about speed really and I believe that is the width five yes it is all right so what we're gonna do now we are going to uh, let's see let's see work on the main area that's right and then we will take a overview of the furnished inside well the inside view from the outside of the windows and then guys that will wrap up this video we're going on 20 minutes i believe so we're going to try and make this as fast as possible so shelving let's just do all one type of shelving let's add uh let's add four there uh for bar stools let's go with the purple ones and any way of placing that there we go that's done and then let's add some shrubbery. Let's get that out of the way. And there we go. Put one there. Put one there. Let's do a double one right there. And then let's do some bookcases. Let's do a bookcase there. Three high. And then let's do a little quick one right there. Flower pot. Dandelion. Why not? It's yellow. It makes the color stand out. And then let's do more of the flowers, except this one, we're going to do tulips, a red, right? Yeah, red and white tulip. And then all we're missing are carpets, so let's do an orange one. We like to have a carpet, usually two by three, so a little six one, right when we walk in the front door. And then same thing, just match it up with the ceiling and you're gonna get your little light fixture that matches the carpet and it also lights up a general area of the house for the bar we'll light that up because obviously people over are gonna want to see or all that good stuff or have light I guess would be the correct term just have light in your house and then finally for the next two carpets we're gonna do we're gonna do kind of a big area rug let's do a red outside with a blue in the middle light fixture will copy the blue so it's not interfering with the other light fixture right above the bar 
And then one more to go. Let's do a yellow and lime. Skittle colors? Sure, why not? What color do we want to have on the outside? I think we want yellow. So we're going to do a uh, two color rug. Kind of long, but you know, it takes up the space quite well. And then we're going to mimic the lime pattern here. And this should match up, and it does. Ladies and gentlemen, that is what it takes to furnish a Redfield home. So, let's do a very, very quick tour and wrap this video up. We have our mailbox, we have our trees. From the inside, you can see the living room. You can see one bedroom. You can see a reading area. You can see the, like, main hallway, the upstairs. If you enter, you have your garage all the way to the left with a little workshop desk. And nothing too special there. And here we have the bathroom with a shower, a toilet behind the shower, and then a mirror. If we go into the kitchen, we have a nice dining table. We have a bar area, bar stools. And then in the living room, we have a nice giant TV, a fish, uh, fish tank. And then we have a lot of windows, nice shrubbery to cap it all off. Go upstairs. We have a nice open upstairs as soon as you hit it. You're not cramped in with space. We have a reading area. You can look outside, not the best view, but you can get better views with the other two-story houses. First bedroom, just a TV, uh, some shelving, a bed, nothing really crazy going on there. The master bedroom, you have a nice table for a laptop or whatever you need, you need it for. A nice TV, you have a bookcase, a little more to do with a nice two-colored rug. And then in here, we just have a laptop some beds and a TV, a guest bedroom. And guys, that is furnishing a Redfield home. It might have took a little longer than I expected, but guys, if you have any inspiration off of it or any of these home designs, then let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to share, or if you are new to the channel, become a Gamers Club subscriber by clicking that subscribe button. And guys, I will see you in the next video. Take care. Have